When it comes to treatments, you know, things are probably obviously different in this country than in, in many other countries. Are, are we making progress in treatments? I mean, we always see the people raising money and hundreds upon hundreds of millions of dollars going for treatments. Is there any traction being made there? Because we always hear about better options maybe if we leave the country. The thing is, unfortunately, yes, there's a lot of money invested in research and things in, in, in cancer programs that unfortunately will never make it to the light. I mean, uh, if you look, for example, at, at the principles and practice of oncology updates, you will see a lot of different researchers that are going on. In the long run, unfortunately, they will not be able to be implemented in clinical practice. So the, the, the problem, I believe, is that it's, it's, it's in, in a way, it's a financial aspect. You know, these are, of course, I'm not qualified to, to talk about, but I've heard many, many people talking that uh, pharmaceuticals are not going to allow the multi-billion dollar business comes down because people are starting to use vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. Same things that even cannot be patentable at, at a given time. So it's, it's very difficult, but the, the, the physicians in the United States particularly uh, over the years have changed the attitude that they have towards the patient where initially if they heard that the patient was going out you know for alternative programs they would say hey you know you go there and do, don't come back we're not going to treat you anymore that is not so much anymore and now uh, doctors are becoming a little bit more tolerant in that regards which I believe is is the best way you know they can still do their own protocols uh, and yet the patient also has the peace of mind that they're supporting their system in, in, in different ways. Mm -hmm.